So when you're putting your, your rails on, you just want to put some screws through the top here like this, and you're screwing down into that solid bit of timber there. So that's pretty self-explanatory, and they should fit in just perfectly in between these spaces because they're designed exactly the same size as the rails are. Some of our larger cabins come with windows with this little metal lip on here. This is, uh, people ask me how this goes on and you simply lift it up and it pulls off like that to make it easier for painting. You see we've got a little edge there, a little edge profile. So that little edge goes under the aluminium just like that and folds down. With the electrical, it's a good idea just to bring it down under the eave behind this piece of timber here. We call that the log horn. And you can bring it down to there. Um, quite often we'll put a piece of timber over here instead of conduit, so it keeps in the continuity of the building. But now, when you put that hole through the wall, you, all these label, um, wires are marked, and don't forget your TV coax cable too. And we're just going to bring them down there in a conduit, and then they're all going to go underneath the cabin in this one. And we're going to put our electrical box just on the outside corner just here. Now remember when we're screwing conduit in to hide all this, that this cabin timber will settle. It'll actually settle downwards. So if you put a screw up the top there and a screw right down here, you'll find your conduit will bow out unless you make this fitting down here looser so that the conduit can slide up and down the fitting just a little bit just to allow the cabin to settle like it's supposed to.